Hello, Sagittarius. How are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So, Sagittarius, this is your reading for the month of March, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Sagittarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Now, coming back to this reading on YouTube, what I'm going to do is I'll shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down, and then we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with, you will be dealing with, right? Uh, right. So, let's get started. I'll also pull out some romantic messages for you, okay? So, make sure you watch the video till the fag end. All right. <clears throat> Sagittarius, what is your energy? What do you need to know for the month of March? Sagittarius, what is your energy? What do you need to know for the month of March? Sagittarius, what's your energy and what do you need to know for the month of March? This card has... This card, few of, we have seven of wands, nine of pentacles, and we have hierophant, Okay. This is your energy as well as your person's concern. We have nine of swords, a lot of nines over here, five of pentacles, a lot of fives as well, and page of cups. So clearly you must be seeing a lot of five, five, five. You must be seeing a lot of nine, nine, nine. So Sagittarius, what are your romantic messages? Sagittarius, what are your romantic messages? What are your romantic messages? All right, Sagittarius. So you might be dealing with Taurus. You might be dealing with uh, Virgo, Capricorn, another Earth energy as well. You might be dealing with Libra, Gemini. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. For some of you, I'm also hearing Scorpio. Okay, so Sagittarius, what is your energy? Uh, seven of Wands and we have Nine of Pentacles, Hierophant for you. Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles and Page of Cups for your person. Hmm. I guess Sagittarius, uh, so far in your life, you have experienced people stealing away what, what was yours or making attempts to steal something what was yours, rightfully yours, uh, or creating any kind of hurdles or obstacles when you were trying to develop certain ideas or you were trying to do something different in your life or you were trying to grow in your life. So you have noticed a lot of hurdles, unnecessary hurdles, unnecessary obstacles. You have noticed a lot of uh, external forces trying to sabotage whatever you're trying to create. So far, that was the energy. But one good thing during such kind of a phase in your life was that you did not give up. You kept on fighting these forces, okay? You knew that they are not good for you. You knew that these forces were there to pull you down. But you kept on fighting. You did not give up that fight. And as a result of you not giving up this fight, with Nine of Pentacles and with Hierophant, what I see is like massive, massive amount of Abundance is coming your way. Massive, massive amount of... Uh, 
monetary prosperity name fame respect financial freedom is coming towards you okay such kind of independence is something that you have not experienced before for many of you i'm also hearing that you are creating a brand value of yourself creating a brand of yourself a uh, lot of lot of value is attached to that brand to that goodwill of yours people are respecting you for who you are people have seen you struggling in your life and people are acknowledging appreciating for whatever you are doing in your life okay with 9 of pentacles and with hierophant what i see is the codependency if any it is getting to zero say for example if there was financial codependency if you had taken lot of loans so in the next couple of months or even in the month of march you will notice that you are repaying those loans quite easily all of a sudden you will notice increase in your income or you will establish multiple sources of income or finally you will notice that the rewards to your efforts are coming your way you felt that whatever your rewards were they were being held back from you that is the kind of feeling you had so far okay but now those rewards are getting released and it's like all of a sudden there is this rush of abundance that is coming towards you so first of all i would like to say that get ready for that so many a times we are not even ready and we are not even prepared for such kind of abundance and such kind of prosperity okay so first and foremost thing get ready for this humongous amount of abundance that is coming towards you because what i see is like it were being held back you were just working and working and putting your efforts and doing everything doing lot of good karma okay but finally this whatever is meant to come towards you is coming towards you and it's and it is coming in huge amount so it's a rush of monetary abundance prosperity and happiness and satisfaction so first of all prepare yourself mentally okay write in the comment section that yes i am ready for this abundance i am ready for the blessings that are coming towards me for some of you expect some promotion name fame reputation is definitely growing for some of you it's it's happening at a big scale for some of you it's happening at your community level say for example wherever you are working you uh, that community that organization will appreciate you award you reward you acknowledge you for your efforts that you are taking for some of you if you have presence on social media expect your social media getting attracted i mean the the uh the social media audience getting attracted towards you you will also establish some kind of counseling or consultation services is what i'm getting and these consultation services i don't know it is definitely as it depends upon your area of expertise for some of you you're going to start consultation about uh, possibly tarot card reading you are also with the hierophant i see that you are a good psychic or you are uh, already an tarot card reader or an astrologer or a palmist or a psychic so some of you are going to start consultation services for some of you you're going to you are uh, into maybe on social media digital marketing and that, and that stuff and you're going to start consultation related to that for some of you you are into healing space either you are a doctor okay or you are a, a counselor or you are a reiki master you are planning to become a reiki master if you are if your lower back is paining if your lower back is paining especially the placement of root chakra if that is paining you are being called to become a reiki master heal yourself and also help others heal if you're feeling your like your root chakra is imbalanced it's it is one of the indications that you have to heal yourself and no one can heal yourself better than 
you. You are going to become your own doctor. You are a... a you have multiple talents, Sagittarius. You haven't discovered your talents yet. Okay, for some of you, you are a finance person, finance expert. At the same time, you are a psychic. At the same time, you're good at sports. For some of you, you haven't discovered your multiple talents. But slowly and gradually, now you're realizing that you're good at a lot of things. Okay, and you really need to encash on those opportunities. As far as your person is concerned, we have nine of swords, we have five of pentacles and we have page of cups. Someone is actually ready to come towards you Sagittarius, but there is some kind of an energy that you need to move away from. Okay. You're kind of getting bothered with the fact that you're single or nothing is happening in your love life there is no action in your love life and you're stressing yourself out with that but you should know that there is love and affection that is waiting for you but you need to move away from this energy there is kind of a there is a dark energy that is that has got invited in your life you have to uninvite that dark energy there is something that is bothering you, something that is stressing you out. You have to get out of it. Love and affection, love is waiting for you, Sagittarius. Love will happen, but it's up to you. The ball is in your court, Sagittarius. Spirit is like, universe is clearly communicating over here that yes, you need to do something before you can enjoy this love that is coming towards you. Okay? The noise that you are hearing, those are the pigeons, okay? We have a lot of pigeons over here. They keep on fighting and God knows what they keep on doing over here. So as far as your love life is concerned, move away from this dark energy. Love is waiting for you, in fact. Once you do that, very soon this desired love will come towards you i see commitment coming towards you i mean i don't see you remaining single for long let's talk about the romantic messages close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances and currently find circumstances you currently find yourself in Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you feel this way. Yes, some self-introspection is needed. There is something that you are feeling right now and possibly you are not able to express that. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Dissolve the unwanted thoughts. Dissolve the negative energy surrounding you. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. So you need to forgive someone from the past and stop dedicating your energy towards the past. The romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Yay. Sagittarius, you're going to find someone. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So the required freedom is coming towards you. All right. I hope this resonates and hit like, share and subscribe. Comment down below and uh, the link for the extended is in the description box and comment section and uh, in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you what is the likely conclusion between you and this person take care and have a great time ahead bye bye